going on out there? It's your boy Rick Gaming 27 Once again, I want to thank you for joining my channel. Oh yes, uh, this morning I made a video, a video about my uh, uh, Nintendo Direct reaction, and I didn't realize how noisy my background music was, so I am going to redo it right now. And uh, you know, basically what I was saying earlier, and uh, you know, I have mixed feelings about the Direct. Uh, some good, some bad. But overall, I was not impressed. And, um, you know, don't, don't take it the wrong way. No, they got some good, they show some good stuff, you know, with the new uh, 3DS that's coming out next month. And, you know, I, I am planning on getting it, uh, getting the, the new 3DS, but I'm not going to get it whenever it uh, first released. Because uh, around that time, I'm supposed to be uh, buying me a PS4. And as, uh, as far as Wii U goes, uh, the, the games that, they show uh, during a direct yesterday it just wasn't very many and uh, they, there's uh, an exclusive to the Wii U called Project Treasure uh, supposed to be uh, I guess developed by uh, uh, Bandai Nepco whatever and uh, it's supposed to be a free to play game and we don't you know we don't know exactly what the game is about so they're gonna give us more details about that later on I don't know when and uh, you know with the uh, with the new 3DS games, there's a couple of games that appeals to me. I will get, you know, the uh, code name Steam, and of course the Legend of Zelda, the uh, Majora's Mask, you know, the, and uh, of course Xenoblade. I might, maybe I might get Xenoblade on new 3DS one day. I'm not sure because I already own the uh, the Wii version, but that's a toss up. But I am guaranteed going to get the uh, uh, Majora's Mask, and I'm going to get the uh, code name Steam. And uh, as with the Wii U games, uh, they didn't really give us many details about the games that we already know is coming out. And only details that we know, uh, you know, is basically Mario Party 10 is coming out in March, and uh, Kirby's uh, Rainbow Curse is coming out in February. And you know, I thought Yoshi was supposed to come out around that time. They really hadn't said anything about Yoshi, so that game might have got delayed. Because we already know that the game was supposed to come out uh, in the earlier part of 2015, and they didn't say anything about it. And I, I'd rather play uh, Yoshi than Kirby. You know, uh, that's just my opinion. I just think Yoshi is a, uh, it's uh, it's more a bit appealing to me. And with the uh, Kirby's uh, Waymo Curse, I just don't, I just don't see myself looking at that gamepad all through the game controlling Kirby. I, it's just not my cup of tea. And, uh, you know, I had a, a prediction podcast the night before the uh, Nintendo Direct, and we was basically just predicting what they was going to talk about. And, um, you know, you know, of course, some of the games that we predicted it was going to talk about, you know, it didn't happen. You know, we still, we still uh, want, you know, basically uh, more footage, uh, more information about Devil's Third. And we've been hearing a lot of information about how, um, you know, much they improved of the game, you know, graphically, and with the most shot, with the multiplayer mode and everything about it. They say it 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 been it's been enhanced dramatically, and I just can't wait to see. I'm just kind of really impatient because it's, you know, y'all know how Nintendo is. They they love to, you know, tease you with everything. They love. To hold stuff back from you know from the consumers and just want to tell them at the last minute so I, I just believe that the games like Devil's Third, Star Fox U and the, the, the uh, Legend of Zelda is probably going to be showcased at E3 2015 that's just my opinion actually I think that's what's going to happen since those are supposed to be the heavy hitters and um, you know I guess that's why they want to hold back I guess they want to give a lot of people you know get a lot of people excited uh, about E3 this year and you know, uh, and of course, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, which that was supposed to come out in 2014. Uh, 2014. It's supposed to come out last year, and I'm really getting impatient with this game because I just want to play this game so badly. I want this game now, and they still did not give us a release date. Like this is bullshit. And you know, I'm just, oh my god, that game looks looks just absolutely stunning the graphics look beautiful the exploration you know it just that world is humongous uh that is a beautiful 
big ass world and I'm just so hyped about this game but they still won't give us a release date about the game so that's that's one knock on Nintendo that you know we just keep getting teased with these Xenoblade Chronicles X footage you know just like give us a release date man that's all I want if they would have gave us a release date about Xenoblade then I would have been happy I would have I would have said this direct would have been a success but still they still teasing us so and another thing that that I kind of want to criticize Nintendo is uh why the hell would they would have freaking leave out the power adapter uh from the new 3ds like i don't understand why they would do something like that i know they say it's gonna cut the cost of production whatever but you know it doesn't make sense because it's gonna basically probably cost the same you know the same price as the old you know uh, 3ds when it first came out so they are catching a lot of flack about that right now and uh, I, I understand why a lot of uh, consumers are pissed off because, like, you know, you know, first of all, the new 3DS should have came out during the holidays. That's, that's point blank. It should have came out during the holidays. And all those new 3D, or all those old 3DSs that got sold during the holidays, during Christmas, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, consumers are going to get very pissed off since they spent, you know, basically $200 for a 3DS XL. And all of a sudden, they're going to pay another $200 for the new uh 3ds xl you know basically two to three months later like i understand people's frustration I, I, it's not right it's not right but you know of course nintendo did that before with the dsi you know you know dsi you know uh was out a couple years and then the uh the 3ds came out you know you know but you know i, I understand why a lot of people's frustrated about that and it is what it is it is what it is and you know that's that's the that's another thing I want to put a knock on on Nintendo because that doesn't make sense. If you're gonna sell a system, make sure you put the power adapter inside the box because a lot of people that really don't know much about video games, like a lot of moms that buy games for their, their children, they don't know that the game don't don't come with the adapter. They they uh, nine times out no ten times out of ten they're gonna assume that it comes with adapter because me I'm gonna assume that it comes with adapter because it's a brand new system. It's just like it's just like the Wii U, uh, you know, it's just like the Wii U, you know, they sell it in the Wii U without the freaking adapters. Like, how much that, that, that don't even make sense at all. It don't make sense. So, it's, it's a stupid move by Nintendo, and I really wish they would go back on that word and basically, you know, apologize to all the consumers and be like, you know what, we're going to go ahead and enforce it. We're going to go ahead and, 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 and uh, put the power adapters in, you know, in the, inside the box of the new 3DS because, you know, we don't want to catch more flack, but right now they are catching a lot of flack, and you know it's not a honestly it's not a big deal. You know that is not that uh, that's the uh, the power adapter's not uh, coming with the new 3DS because it's cheap. I can go basically go down down the street and go to one of these little computer the electronic stores and and get a used uh, adapter for maybe five to ten bucks. But it's the principle. It's the principle that they will you know basically leave that out, but you know it is what it is and you know I, like i said i just wish that they would have gave us more information about you know star fox about the legend of zelda about xenoblade uh xenoblade chronicles x you know and you know basically i thought they was going to give us some kind of unannounced wii u game you know because we need more video games some people don't agree with me they're going to disagree because they like you know you know 2015 it's you know we got plenty of games we got plenty of games you know like I understand that we got plenty of games, but what about the games for the future? What about the games for the future? You know, all, you know, you got Sony's and Microsoft exclusives that's coming out pretty soon. And on top of that, they're getting the third-party games. That's what I'm saying. Nintendo has to counter the third party and and you know and put out more games. I'm not saying put out the same amount of games as third, as third party given Microsoft and the Sony system. Just try to compete. You know, I understand one game a month. That's not bad. It's not bad. But if you own the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4, you know, it's, they're going to be getting a lot more games than one a month. I'll tell you that straight up. You know, but I'm, I'm just saying, man, you know, I, I could have sworn they were going to give us the Horror Warrior treatment and just show us some kind of unannounced game or or do a collaboration. Actually, they did say they was going to, they was working with uh, uh, numerous of third parties, uh, companies, and we going to get more collaboration, collaboration games. And uh, I guess, you know, I guess we have to stay tuned and find out what it is.
And uh, you know, like I say, uh, with the whole Nintendo Direct as a whole, I have very mixed feelings because, you know, I'm not going to go out there and buy a new 3DS when it first launched. And I, right now, I got, I'd got i rather just buy the games, you know, the games, uh, uh, I'd rather just buy the uh, PS4 right now and, and buy Wii U games. That's basically what I'm focused on right now. I'm not focused on, on, on the handheld system. I have the handheld system, but I don't play it as much as I play my Wii U and my Xbox One. You know, I you know basically play it when I'm on the go, and you know, pretty you know uh, lately I really have been on the go. I've been at home, so if I'm at home, I play my home console. So, you know, the direct yesterday was basically uh, was catering towards the um, the handheld crowd. So, like I say, man, you know, I got mixed feelings. I'm pretty sure y'all, some of y'all might got mixed feelings, but if y'all, you know, are very big fans of the 3ds i'm pretty sure you will love the i'm pretty sure you love the direct uh, yesterday like i said don't get me wrong they got some good games that's coming and i really i really uh would really love to get them i'm gonna get them one of these days but not now and uh, i guess the last thing i want to talk about is basically they got a uh, wii games that's coming out uh, for the eShop, which is not bad you know i'm you know i'm happy that they actually announced that you know, basically get Super Mario Galaxy 2 for uh, $10, and that's basically half price, so uh, basically we got uh, about a week or maybe less than a week now to uh, get it for half price, otherwise it's going to go back up to $20, and of course you got Super Punch Out, which I never played during the Wii generation, so I'm going to uh, pick that up whenever it comes out, then the last game that's going to come out is uh, uh, the Metroid Trilogy, and uh, I already own that, so I'm not gonna. There's no reason for me to buy it on the eShop. And they say they got uh, more games to come in the near future, more Wii games, and that's a good sign. That's a good sign. I guess they want to counterattack what uh, PlayStation is doing with the uh, with the PlayStation subscription, you know, because you get to play the uh, old PS3 games and everything. But you know, that's good that Nintendo is actually trying to put some Wii games on the on the on the Wii U uh, eShop. So, like I'm saying, it's it's, it's good that they're actually doing that, but um, Nintendo Direct is of oh, I got mixed feelings. I'm not saying I don't like it. I, I'm not saying I, I do like it. I, it's, it was okay. So I'm going to say, it was okay. You know, I, was, was I disappointed to a certain extent? Yes, I was disappointed. But, you know, anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to share with y'all right now. I just want to just basically just give y'all my little reaction about the Nintendo Direct. And uh, tomorrow, I will be hosting the podcast about the Nintendo Direct and I basically want to get everybody's reactions about it and you know y'all just let me know how y'all feel about it uh, about the whole entire Direct, uh, direct y'all sales because you know I've been you know uh, hearing and reading all the comics all you know comments all over YouTube you know a lot of people said they like it and a lot of people said they don't like it so y'all let me know how y'all feel about it uh, like comment subscribe and once again it's your boy Rick Gamer 27 and y'all have a good day